Hello everybody. So I took my niece Bree to the park today and uh, wore her out and she's currently sleeping so we're making this video in the kitchen today <laughs> because uh, I don't want to wake her up. So um, as you can see little man here is sleeping. So cute. And uh, he's wearing his little sleeper here. I love this sleeper. <laughs> I take it off and then I put it back on him. I take it off. I put it back on him. I just love the way it fits. And thank you again, Mindy, for sending this to us. We really, really love it and enjoy it. So, um, here's Mr. Rabbit. So today is onesie Wednesday and we get to participate. Yay. But, um, a couple people said where I got this boppy. I got it off eBay. And I just put a bid in. I searched for Boppy Loungers, put the bid in, and I won. So, yeah, I was very fortunate. There are a couple on eBay that are pretty high. I mean, $50 for this brand or this style of uh, Boppy Lounger. My Babies R Us does not sell this brand uh, or this style. They sell the Boppy brand, but in the style where it's open in the center, not the lounger. So, um, and I know Walmart doesn't sell it, or Target. I've never seen it at Target. So I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, I know Baby's RSs are different all over the place. So maybe, you know, they may sell them at your Baby's RS and just maybe not mine. Your little foot does not want to come out of here. There we go. There we go, little dude. It's a beautiful day today. It's a little overcast, but you know, not, not by much. See, in a traditional boppy, he would have been sliding all over the place by now. The boppy I had. I'm not saying that they're all like that. I know they're really good ones that are by the boppy brand. Um, I think they secure the baby a little bit better. But the one I had, which was from that promotion, that nursing hello. Like I said, it, it did the job for a while, but I'm not happy with it. Okay, so he is going to wear, cute as can be, this pretty yellow. Because it's a cloudy kind of day, and we thought, you know what? He can be my little ray of sunshine here. So... And then I thought these pants would go really good with this green and yellow. But we'll just put the onesie on because, like I said, it's onesie Wednesday. We are just so excited to have this floppy. And then they also sell, uh, sell covers on eBay and Etsy, so I will definitely be looking for a cover. They have some really cute patterns and stuff like chevron, and this one here is really, really nice. And it has a handle back here. For carry, so that way you can carry it. And I'm excited also to get him rooted. Um, the style, he's going to keep the same style, and there she's going to root um, the pattern of the painted hair. So you can kind of see it's going to, you're going to be able to see the painted hair, so it's going to be lightly. Uh, rooted, micro-rooted here on the side, and then I'm going to have her 
um, root it thicker here on the top. So I think it's going to look really, really nice. Kind of give it that two-dimensional look that some artists do anyway. They do painted and rooted. So... Well, this yellow looks really sharp on you. I love yellow on babies, boys and girls. Even though they don't make too many yellow outfits, unless it's around spring, spring or summer, I guess, is when they usually have these colors. Make sure this is fixed on this side as onesie is kind of getting bunched up. The one underneath is white one. So I just got to make sure. There we go. Boy, that was easy changing you on this. Oh, your little leg hanging over. What's the deal? <laughs> you scoot you up a little bit. There you go, sweet boy. Okay, so what are we going to... Oh, and in the video, when I opened this, I had it upside down. Because it has like a warning information underneath here. So you don't see that on the top. <laughs> I had it upside down in the video. I thought this passy would be cute with the stars. Little newbie. So there is... Sorry, squeaky tripod here. There is Mr. William on this onesie Wednesday with his cute little bunny. We don't have a name for, but for some reason he looks like a Sam. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of looks like a Sam to me. Oh, yeah. Cute as can be. Yes, you are. So cute, these little wrinkled feet. My gosh. So wrinkled. I really want um, another real born girl. Um, because I really love these kits and how detailed they are. They have a lot of realism. So, um, yeah. But the thing is, if I get another reborn, my rule is one has to go. And of course, that would be Elowen that I would have to sell to get another one. I mean, that's just the way that I do my collecting. Uh, one comes, one goes. Um... I just found that it just works better for me financially and just, you know, two babies for me is really the max. I have had as many as five at one time in my collection and that was very overwhelming uh, for me. You know, I know there's a lot of collectors out there that are able to have, you know, a large number of babies and they're fine with it and, you know, it doesn't overwhelm them. You know, they have a nice nursery area, you know, some even have a full room, you know, that they can have a crib and a changing table. I don't have the luxury of that. You know, I just have a little nook in my bedroom where I keep the babies. So I have to keep everything at a minimum. And I have one dresser that has, um, six drawers and that's it so um i just have to you know be careful and not go you know if the drawers start to get stuff it's time to let them go i haven't had any kind of yard sell or anything like that because i am trying to conceive so i'm saving clothes right now because if i do get pregnant and if i do have a boy or girl i want to keep those clothes and whatever gender they are, you know, I'll keep and then I'll sell the other. So right now I'm just not let, let go of any clothes right now. I have a Rubbermaid container full of clothes 
from newborn to zero to three to three months to six months, mostly girl, because I've always had more girls in my collection than boys. I've only, I have just a few things that are three months in boys, uh, but not very much uh, when I had Mason. So, um, yeah, and I'm just holding on to those because, like I said, I just don't know what we'll have, what God will bless us with. So I just want to hold on to those. And here comes Lucky. Never fails. <laughs> hey, you get down, mister. You're not supposed to be on the table. Nope. You're not allowed. So, yeah, that's my... That's my little dilemma right now. I just, I really, I love Ella Owen. Don't get me wrong. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. But I just really love the realism of these real born kits. Um, so I want another one, but a girl. You know what I mean. But right now, I'm content with William, as you can see. I make a lot of videos with him. I'm very happy with him. Oh, we got to put his little mittens on. I thought these would be really nice with the yellow. Because it has that kind of color in the lettering right here. Let's see what you guys see. Get closer. There we go. I just love mittens on him. Just give him that extra baby factor. Here we go. Here we go, Mr. William. You look as cute as can be. <laughs> That's what it says on his shirt. All right, well, sorry for that ramble there. But uh, I hope all of you have a great Wednesday. We're halfway there, ladies. We're halfway there. Two more days. This week seems to be kind of going fast for me anyway. So I hope you guys have a great west rest of the week. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow to do um, theme Thursday. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everyone take care. Love all of you guys. Bye. Kisses to everybody. Bye.